the British boat guy and um, this video is about fuel filters. Uh, I just had a water alarm go off. Uh, I've been running for about 30 miles today. Uh, just filled up with 50 gallons of diesel and I burnt about 40 of that and there is some fresh water in my fuel. So I'm going to show you what that looks like and how to deal with it. So these things here are your secondary filters. The red stuff is the diesel. And that goopy stuff we can see down here is sediment and water, which means the fuel I've put in has been tainted. I'll show you the filter from the other side. There's a little bit less in that one. So the question is, what do you do if you discover you have water in your fuel? Obviously, it's not healthy stuff that you want to put through your engine. So these filters, what they do, the fuel comes in here, there's a separating filter here, and this is a centrifuge. And because diesel is heavier than water, the water will sink to the bottom, and the sediment, and the fuel will stay on top. So the fuel coming out of this side into your engine stays nice and clean. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to drain the water out of this. So, here I prepared earlier an empty bottle. So I'm going to just put you down over here. And so, this little yellow thing down here is a tap that allows you to drain off any water that may be in there. There's also a bleeder valve here which will allow the nasty stuff to flow out. So let's go take a look what that looks like. So I'm going to release the breather valve and I'm going to open the tap below. And I've got a, a steady stream. rather yucky stuff coming out. Okay, and now it's in red stuff, which is the diesel. Okay. What does that look like? That is sediment. Now I can see this is fresh because had it have been sitting at the bottom of my fuel tank for a while, it would be full of brown stuff, which is algae growth. So this is obviously just come in from this fuel I've just bought. So I'll be letting the marina know where I bought it from. And I'm just going to do the other side. And there wasn't any in there, so we're good. Uh, ordinarily, I don't think this filter is going to be particularly dirty, so let's uh, we'll take a look at it and see what we find. So, I'm going to release the top of the filter. I'm tensioning them off a bit at a time, not pulling one out altogether. And this particular job, if you get an engineer to do this, will charge you probably about $150, but it only takes about 15 minutes. And you can pretty easily do it yourself. So, I'll put these very safe so we don't lose them.
take this top off because there's a rubber seal and if you lose that, you have a problem. So, there's the four bolts. There's the rubber seal, which is in good shape. And I'm going to take a look at the filter. It's held in by this little spring assembly. And there's a little tag in here that enables you to pull these out easily. So, that's the old filter. You can see it's a little bit dirty. Doesn't, doesn't actually need changing, but whilst I've got this off, I may as well do it. Now these filters, these are CPAR filters. Pretty easy available. That's a new one. And they cost about $15 each, so that's that in. Make sure it's seated properly. The handle is on the top, and I'm just going to go and get a little bit of diesel to top that up. Diesel. This is just regular diesel from the gas station. I haven't got any marine diesel on me, but it's fine, it's only a little bit. Okay, so the place. Spacer back in, spring on the spacer. I'm going to line up the top and do it back up again. them one by one, bit at a time, so we're bringing that seal in flat, not one corner down. So we have got a few turns in to get some pressure there. Gradually one by one. up so tight you never going to be able to undo them. Just bend it tight. Okay. And that is done. Now this boat is self-priming which is pretty useful so it's actually going to clear that air blockage out as soon as I run the engine. So I shouldn't have to repressurize it. If we do then um, I'll show you how to do that. Pretty simple. You have a, a little pump over here. And that's tons of pressure in there, so that's fine. If you pump that, that will clear all the air out of this little bleeder valve here. And that is how to change a secondary engine filter on a marine diesel engine. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.